even as your son Jesus, he only did what he saw you doing, Father. Never went anywhere unless you went there first. Never said anything unless you said it first. Let it be that way today. I don't know. I've got. I don't always bring physical research stuff because we're in a digital age. But I, I've got stuff that there's things that I can't get digital. There's things that, as far as the title today, if we want to put a title. How much of God can you hold? Everybody say, How much of God can I hold? That's quite a question. Yes, it is. God's asking every person. Here, he's already been asking me. He's asking you individually. Not your husband, not your wife, not your children, not your friends, not your associates. Oh, I know who that's for. Yeah, you. Everybody say me. Me. God's asking you. The question, how much of Yahweh Elohim can you hold? What's your capacity? Wow. Hmm. Just show me where to start. Yeah, he just told me. Years ago, I, uh, Cindy and I pastored a church quite a number of years ago, actually, in Hallettsville, Texas, which is not too far from Eagle Lake. And there was a title of a message that God gave me, and the title... The title was, How Much of God's Word Can You Handle? How much, think about that. The Lord's bringing that up right now. How much of, God's asking you that question. The first question is, how much of Him can you hold? Hold. But the, the question that many years ago was never preached that again. Was how much of God's word can you handle? And in those days, I, I don't, I'm, in those days, I had to walk to the back of the church to greet people even though I've just come out of the anointing, but I found out that if I didn't do that, people would get offended. <laughs> yeah, right. After, you know, just getting their ear healed, God putting a new eardrum, and all of these kind of things in the meeting, and somebody being, people being rescued from hell, and yeah. demons coming out. But if I didn't just walk back there, right. 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 and it was over 12,000, square foot facility that we had built on three and a half acres. It's still there. There's another church name on it. If I didn't do that, they would be offended. So that's why I started doing that because that's really not me. It's just not Daryl. I mean, I'll greet you. 
You can come and talk to me. But, I, but a lot of people are afraid to talk to me. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm a regular. I mean, I, I'm, I had to get up early this morning. I had to get up around four or whatever. I don't know when you got up. Shake myself. Get the cobwebs out and before I could get in my secret place. Yeah, you had to get in your secret place yeah, before you came here? Oh, absolutely. Because the, my secret place is not an option. See, you, you liking me or not liking me, that's, that's on you. That's optional. Yes. Thank you, Apostle, for helping me. That's optional. That's optional. You have to love me or you won't be at the marriage supper of the Lamb with me. Love is a commandment. It's an order. Yes, it is. And I remember there was a man and he was a number of years older than me. I don't know if he's alive. I don't know if he's in heaven or hell, to be honest with you. After I preached that, that message God gave me years ago, and I've been in the ministry now over 50 years, in one form or another, different continents, And this particular man, he, he seemed to be on board with everything. I mean, he's married, he's got kids, he's, he's an outstanding citizen in the whole Lavaca County region. Prominent, quote, prominent. See, you're not, no, you're not prominent unless God says you are. You're only what He says you are. Period. I, I don't care... If you've got if you've got both hands full of NBA rings, many of them will spend eternity in the region of the damned. In the lake that burneth with fire and brimstone. Because they've allowed themselves to be worshipped. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They've allowed themselves to be called an icon. Yes. Icon means it, 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 it's, it's kind of more soothing on the ears instead of idol. Mm. Mm. Anytime somebody says it was an iconic country music or iconic, it, it, what they're saying is he was one of the biggest idols on the planet. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Yes. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all of thy mind, and with all of thy strength. And the second is like it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as yourself. So do you? All right, back to that story. I had no, I said, God, I don't know, how the hell is this going to start? But he's, he's gave us a start, didn't he? So back to that the so-called prominent man. Because when, because see, we bought that land. Nobody would even sell land to us, to Cindy and I, because they were afraid of us. <laughs> yes. The, the mainline denominational churches were afraid of us. One of those churches has not a thousand members in Howitzville, a thousand families. In a little town of less than 
3,000 people. They have idols all in there and they pray to all kinds of people. Now, if I say that, you probably already know what kind of church it is. This man got up in front of all of these masses of people and everything and forbid anybody to come to where we we're past public. Was afraid of. We were afraid of. I'm a, I'm a human being. I, I showered this morning. I got any perspirant on. I hope you do. I got a pair of pants on that I'm. That they were saved for a year because I've never worn them out before. Lord said, "Put them on." Yeah, I brushed my teeth. <laughs> but it's the God that I serve. Amen. And it's the anointing and the oil that's on my life yes. that people are afraid of. Yes, preach about it. Yes. Because Daryl McManus is a very quiet man. My wife, my son, my youngest son is here. They're saying yes. You mean you're not like this? No. No. Because God is here. And he's taken this shy little boy. Backward, buck teeth, acne, headgear. Had to wear to school. Wow. Jesus. Little boy and said, I want you. I want you to preach my word. And there's some people here today that God is saying, this is God right now saying, I want you. I want you. What are you going to tell him? Back to that man. That man had connections with his brother to get all this equipment donated, greater. We, we, <clears throat> we met with the elders. God's want me to go back to this Hallisville thing right now. We met with the elders because we, we took a church that the first pastor fell because he was sleeping with the secretary. The second pastor fell because he embezzled $10,000 and went on a trip, I think, to Europe. Preach a pastor's good. Mm. And Cindy and I are living in Houston Metroplex, you know, where there's more modern conveniences. And, and we tried to not go to Hallettsville. You know, it was it was said strike three and you're out. You do the third one now. We took a we took we took we inherited a mess. Meeting in an old beer joint that the the door to the the outside door when you moved the door the whole outside wall moved. Staring, 40% of the congregation were Jezebels. Wow. Staring me in the face. Wow. Wow. Waiting for me to be the strike three. Oh, mm. That is where God sent us. Because we did not want to go there. You don't give orders to God. He's the one that gives the orders. Yeah. 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 
So this guy, all right, back to the, and, and, and then on top of that, it was a, it was a block. There wasn't no foundation. There's concrete underneath, right? Yeah, I feel it. There wasn't concrete underneath it, the floor of that building. And they were renting. And when the, the bass drummer would hit, skunks were underneath and they began to spray. <laughs> but God sent us there. Man, good best. Wow. <laughs> when God gives you marching orders, you just go. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Told the elders. We met with the elders. We were frustrated. We get all these Jezebels every time. And then they're, they have a, they're have a meeting, we found out later, to crucify me and dissect the message that God gave me to preach. Right after Sunday service is over. We met with the elders and said, we're leaving. We, Cindy and I have the world on the inside of us. And we're, if something doesn't happen, if we don't get some land, if we can't, with the, we're carrying the world on the inside of us. And if something doesn't change, we're out of here. Padlock on the pastor's office. A padlock with a key. No honor for the office. So we began to pray. We turned the Wednesday night services over to a prayer meeting and, and a, a plot of land right on the Highway 77. I mean the main highway. Anytime we try to get property, these mainline denominations would buy it un, out from beneath us just so we couldn't own anything in the Baca County. Most people that were in the congregation in the new building they have no idea what we went through for that to even happen. And privately, the land became available. There was never for sale sign on it. And our building fund, we had cash, boom, it's ours. And nobody can do a thing about it. Give the Lord a shout of praise. The Lord wanted me to say all of that to say this. That man and his brother, they got the grater, they got the the vibrating roller thing, uh, you know, for that, all the, all these this big equipment stuff because it was farmland. There was no driveways for Christ the King Church. It was farmland. There was there was there was not even. I mean, cows were on it. It's ours. <laughs> he, and and he, you would think after all that, and they got all that donated, all that labor to put the culverts in, and all that stuff. The same man after that message. Well, wow, what an introduction, Lord. <laughs> the same man after I preached. How much of God's word can you handle? And I had to go to, I went to the back to do my duties to prevent people from getting offended. Said when he came out of the auditorium into the foyer, that's about as much word as I can handle. And I never saw him again this is a different day this is a year of judgment
When you were singing that last song, did you mean every word of it? Did you ask him to break all the religious walls in your life? Yeah. Yeah. Did you fully let go of those secret habits that you think nobody knows about but God does and He's bringing them to the light right now? God's dealing with pornography right now. There's secret porn habits with more than one person in this building. Okay, God says bring the props out. Yes, just bring them, spread them out here, please. Yeah, like like we're most how can we put it we're let's see. Put the big one. Because I I'll lift the smaller ones up. And uh, we have like a or maybe a little table or something to put the little one on. If not, that's okay. I uh, I I need like a Yeah. And and I need a uh like a a towel or something. If not, we can just take one of my t-shirts. I don't care if it gets wet. Thank you. And then I need to put something on it. Yeah, if you just put that on here. Thank you. Thank you, Apostle. How God is asking this question again today. How much of me? This is God speaking. Not Daryl. How much of me can you hold? Hmm. Full is relative. Not your uncle or aunt relative. <laughs> Bible talks about newborn babes. They desire. There's nothing like. And there, there are people here. You're lost. If Jesus were to come right now, you wouldn't. You wouldn't go. You're, you're not. You're not ready. Well, there's not a reason for anybody to leave here today without getting ready. Let me tell you, not one reason. So a baby, a baby's capacity to get full. A baby can't hold much. Right? A, a, you don't you don't give a sixteen ounce ribeye steak to a newborn baby. <laughs> but what What's a problem is if somebody is 30, 40, 50 years old, you know, body wise, and all they can hold
They're full. There are people here today. You around the anointing? You're hearing the word? Came to Christ two, three years or more ago? It doesn't take much for you to get full because you're still a baby. Wow, that's good. That's good. Wow. But you see, full is relative. Because this, this is the... I believe it's five gallon, right? Five yeah, it's not a six. Okay. This is a five gallon bucket. See, you're full. Now, this is what this is what the Lord's telling me. There's some of you begin to grow. Look like you're going to do something. For the Lord. Just just take time to pass it around where people can see it. And so now you're you're almost empty. Oh wow, that's good. Wow. For there are ministry, saith the Lord. That appeared to be on track. And even began to expand. Where they appeared to be a giant of sorts. But once they began to expand... And the money began to flow in. They no longer did what it took to get the enlargement. And they are running on empty. All right. As they're still looking at that, Lord said, I can just go ahead and do it this way because it's taking a while to pass that. I am enlarging I am enlarging you this day saith God for those with a pure heart for those that would lay down the idols for those that would lay down the habits for those that would say God I've had enough I am enlarging you saith the Lord Now, everybody else just look up here. There are, there are a number of people that should have this kind of capacity right now for God.
And so, Oh, Lord, show me what to do next. How do I, how do I enlarge? God has to enlarge you. Yes, yes. For every person that wants God to enlarge your reservoir for Him today, there's going to be a supernatural enlargement. The shallows, God is calling you into the deep. Deep is calling you. He's calling you into deep. At the noise is not the best translation. After studying the original, the best translation is deep calls unto deep at the voice. See, you're not hearing anymore. Because once, once, the, once the reservoir gets enlarged and you try to operate on a baby's diet, you will shrivel up and die. And you will be standing before God on Judgment Day wanting. Many, many Tiku you farsen. For I have weighed you in the balance. Even as I've weighed this nation in the balance, son of man, prophesy. Prophesy against this nation. For even in the natural, Where there has been Trojan horses reported in the power grid, I have put my own Trojan horse into the heart of this nation. For I have wept over you, O United States of America, even as I wept over Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem did not know the day of its visitation. Jerusalem did not know what would cause peace. Oh, I have wept over you, O United States of America, but the time of my weeping is over. For this is the year that I will shake this nation and I will shake it again and I will shake it like a reed in the wind. And the Trojan horse that I have released into this nation, it, that the destruction that shall come out will be irrecoverable for many. For I have already spoken, saith the Lord, about the X and the A forming the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, the Aleph. That shall happen in April of this year and it, the X will be right over a major fault line in the United States of America. 
For there shall be attacks from within, there shall be attacks from without. There shall be attacks from the sea. There shall be attacks from the air. For I say unto thee, saith the Lord, that you did not heed my call. You did not heed my voice, O United States of America. Therefore, I will demonstrate and show you that I, Yahweh Elohim, am God, and there is no other. To the Lord shall we praise. Oh, the fire is here. There's no water. The Hebrew word, the the Hebrew word for deep. In researching that word, I'm not even going to pull it up. It means that staying in the shallows will bring bane to your life. B-A-N-E. Bane is poison. As a babe... A baby doesn't know what's poison and what's good. But a 10-year-old spiritual baby doesn't know it either. God is enlarging those that want enlargement today. Amen. How many? That's you. And I see your hand. Hallelujah. Wow. Yes. And God is going to open up those that truly come to Him today. Without reservation, God is going to open up the subterranean waters for you. Amen. 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 And you're going to take a plunge. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And you're going to come up full yes, Lord. with the capacity yes. to do your assignment yes. this year. Everybody say this year. This year. To the Lord of Shell of Praise. First Corinthians. Chapter 2. Now I'm in the Amplified Classic, whatever it is. If you're using NIV, whatever you're using. But I like the way the Amplified Classic reads here. Verses 9 and 10. But on the contrary, as the Scripture says, what eye has not seen and ear has not heard and has not entered into the heart of man, all that God has prepared, made, and keeps ready. God has prepared for you today and He has kept it ready for this day. Glory to God. For those who love Him, who hold Him in affectionate reverence, promptly obeying Him and gratefully recognizing the benefits He has bestowed, yet to us, to us who? A little bit of capacity? No. 
by and through the, His Spirit. For the Holy Spirit searches diligently, exploring and examining everything, even sounding the profound and bottomless. The supply that God's opening up for you today, there is no bottom to the supply. Lift up your hands. Even sounding the profound and bottomless things of God, the divine counsels and things hidden beyond man's scrutiny. All oh, this is just going away right now. It's like standing same foot. Okay. You can move those or brethren. If you can move those out of the way. Before you do, the Lord wants you to do something. Is this you? Is this you? You started growing, you started enlarging, but then you stopped your secret place. You think nobody knows. God does. That's why He's bringing it out right now. Or did you really dig in and it looks like you're going you're gonna to just shake Counties, take counties for the Lord. Forget about cities. You ended up with a big reservoir because of your hunger at that time. But now you've got a you're hollow. There's nothing to you. There's not enough supply. The ten virgins, the five, the five were wise, and the and the other five were foolish. They didn't. They didn't trim their lamps. They didn't get rid of all the flesh handles in their life so that God could enlarge them. The foolish ones, they had to go. They were trying to... Oh, Lord. There are There's some here that you've attempted to piggyback off of the apostles' anointing. But the bridegroom is now coming. God is this day beginning to separate the wheat from the tares. Give us some more of your all. No, no, no. There's an only enough for this man of God. The bridegroom came at midnight. The foolish. They stopped praying. They once had a secret place. They began to grow. Looks like they're going to do something. Yes. But then they got spiritually lazy. You can never stop doing what it took for you to get where you are right now. We were in a meeting a few years ago, not too many. My wife Cindy and I, we, we somebody told us about this meeting. It was some, somewhere in the Houston Metroplex. I can't, I don't even know where the exact suburb is 
even if I wanted to tell you, and I don't want to tell you, but it's somewhere in the Houston Metroplex. And somebody, somebody, you see, they were supposed to be prominent, quote unquote. Remember the guy in Aliceville, he's so-called prominent. And so there were all kinds of people there. And we entered. And there was some sort of a song service. What do you mean some sort of a song service? I mean there was an attempt at, at something. But the problem was God wasn't there. <laughs> and this man accolades I don't know how many countries he's traveled in. Oh man, this guy's anointed. And... Because the Lord's still giving me pieces. Just that Bible now, I think. And so, there, were, there was a gift. He was operating out of a gift. Do you know Satan is still operating out of the gift that God gave him? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are people that run the meetings because uh, uh, the, the title is Apostle so and so is going to be there, or, or Prophet or Prophet so and so. Oh man, that person going to read your mail. Really? Yeah, it may be a demon reading your mail, all right. Satan has more prophets than God does. Yes. Satan has more apostles than God does. What do you mean more than God does? Because Ephesians 4.11, don't turn there. Talking about Jesus says, and He, he gave some. Yes. Everybody say some. some. You can't be one because somebody prophesied you to be one. Right. Mm. Only Jesus can give these some offices out. Thank you, Lord. You, there may be a word of the Lord that comes to confirm it. There may be a directive. And there may be a calling to repentance like God's doing today so that you don't lose everything. He gave some, everybody say some apostles. And some prophets. some prophets. And some evangelists. Some evangelists. And some pastors. Some pastors. And, teachers. and teachers. But when you read this Bible, when it talks about the devils, it's always many. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's so true. Their card doesn't say false prophet so and so. Right. I want to introduce myself. I'm false prophet. <laughs> I want to introduce... The buzzword is I planted a church. That's not even in the Bible. You don't... You don't, you don't plant churches. You plant vegetables. <laughs> You plant trees. Yeah. Okay, we ordered our root system uh, prefab church. It comes with full praise and worship team. Everything is perfect. We with uh, 400 members to start mm -hmm. your first service, and we don't even we don't even want you to give an altar call in the first because. Because this, th we want this experience to be like when you go and buy an automobile and you go into the showroom. There's never, there ha it hasn't been serviced yet. That's good. That's we good. Want it, we <laughs> want it to be a, the perfect experience. We want the smoke machines to smoke right at the right time. We want, the, we want the colored lights to move all in sync. 
We want everybody to be in choreography. We want them all, we want all hundred in the so-called praise team. We want all, when everybody moves left, it's one left. When they move right, everybody moves right. We want the ultimate experience. Preach it, it's good. Mm. No all changes. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making something up. This is all over the United States right now. Yes, it's true. Preach it. Preach it, Pastor. Yes. And once you do a so-called, quote, church plant, then you help send, give money to, so that we can buy all this and for the next church plant. And so when the, those doors open, everything is perfect. All the smoke machines are smoking. <laughs> and the lights are moving. Go ahead, and the thousand dollar pair of shoes is perfect so that people will know that you have affluence. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Mm. Wow. God is tearing it all down this year. Mm. Thank you, Lord. I said God is tearing it all down this year. You will look back on this meeting when God said that he's tearing it all down and that the Trojan horse that he has placed in this nation and the earthquakes and the X marking the spot over the, the fault line that the last time this happened, uh, uh, I think it was like in the 1800s, I think some 5,000, I mean, you can just research that. But I, I'm telling you what God's saying. You can research that. Some 5,000 earthquakes, I believe, happened after that in this nation with great destruction. But that won't be anything to this year. So you say, oh, I don't know. That, that kind of scares me, Brother Darrell. It shouldn't. Are you, if you're, if you're, if you've got a secret place, you, you ought to be a Psalm 91 Christian. Amen. Yes. Yes. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Yes, will buy in the shadow of the Almighty. And I'm not going to quote, I've, I've quoted that psalm many times, and I'm not going to, but the Lord wants me to bring you to this part. A thousand may fall at my side is about to happen if you're a Psalm 91 Christian. And 10,000 at your right hand is about to happen in this nation if you're a Psalm 91 Christian. What would you do if suddenly all of your cell phones stopped? There would be people that would literally be killing themselves. Yes, 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 true. Because that's their idol. Yes, yes, yes it is. Yes. Mm. Is anybody getting anything? No. Thank good. Thank good. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the Lord says don't look at it, but just, just give it. So, I'm trusting... You read your Bible, and if you if you don't read it regularly and study it, you can 
That can change all the day. You say, where do I start? You just say, God, forgive me, and just start. You already got free Bibles if you don't have one. Proverbs, you don't have to turn there. But in, the, in the third chapter, it talks about that we're supposed to write. See, this song, this one song talk, was talking about our hearts. How, what's the size? See, the size of your heart, your spirit, man, is the size of the reservoir the capacity for God that you can presently hold. Oh, that's good. That's good. Wow. That's good, Pastor. Wow. So when we're talking about enlargement, don't be concerned if you're trying to lose weight. This is not a physical <laughs> enlargement. Jabez prayed that God would enlarge him. Say, enlarge me. Enlarge me. Ask him right now. Enlarge me. Enlarge, enlarge me. the real me. Give me the capacity to hold as much of you as is already written in my assignment book. Then fill me. Yes. 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 And keep me full. You see, Bane? Oh, see, God's bringing all this together right here. At the, I, it's amazing. I, I, I'm not amazed at God. It's just, it, it just looked like all this stuff I've got. What are you going to do? You've got all this stuff you're bringing. And, but you're, did you come prepared, brother? As best as I know how. Yes. yes. Come on. But he's telling me every word to say. And when to say it and what the order of this is and this is and this is. Because I didn't know the order. I didn't know the order. After hours and hours of prayer and said, I didn't know, I had no idea what the order was today. I had no idea. The Lord told me to contact the apostle and um, and and just get these props and that was like a couple weeks or so ago uh, see if you can get them and I said the Lord mentioned Gerald see if he can get it <laughs> and that's it he didn't mention anybody else's name See, Bain is, is poison. In, in Proverbs 3, don't turn there. God's still in that passage, though. It, it's, it says, write them. Write what? Write. Write God's words on the tablet yes. Yes. of your heart. God calls the real you a tablet. Oh, thank you. The reason why some of you, even attending here, you're, you're, you see, you see Psalm forty-five, one. Don't turn there. It says, "My tongue, stick your tongue out at me." <laughs> it's okay. Just stick it out. That's your pen. Yes. yes. Psalm 45 1 says, My tongue is a pen of a ready writer. I address my 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 composition to the king. Yes. What have you been writing to the king? That's the reason why some have not progressed because you you're 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 paying you're paying your money that you earn. To go hear somebody that can act 
and play a part, spout out f words in God's name in vain. You're you and you you're then you you go do that, and so then you see. Not only is your tongue a pen, everybody's tongue is a pen that you allow to write on your tongue. Yes, yes. Preach it, Pastor. It's good. Yes. Mm. Well, I didn't mean to say that. Yeah, you did. Because yes. what do you mean? You call me a liar? No, no. The Bible, Jesus did. Amen. Jesus said, "Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks." Mm. So, are you getting? Are you getting twenty percent? I know what you're getting here. You're getting filet mignon. Or you got? You got twenty? Do you have twenty percent filet mignon? Word, 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 more word, more word, and more word <laughs> written on your tablet. Amen. And then you're going to go pay money because I don't want to miss that serious. I don't want to miss those idols, those icons. They've gotten their skin so tight there's nothing more to tighten. <laughs> and have on so much makeup to see them in person you wouldn't want to dare get close. <laughs> because it looks good on the set. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. And, and, and now God's in, uh, he's still in Proverbs, but don't turn there. Now Proverbs 3, he already said what? Write them on the tablet of your heart. The Hebrew word for heart is lab, L-E-B, but it's pronounced L-A-B-E. It's the inner man. Did you know that's what comes first? Instead of Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all of your lab. When you've got 20% addressed to the king. And 80% of filth on the same tablet. So when an emergency arises or God forbid somebody's dropped dead do you have mixed messages on your tablet? Call 911 oh, do this. Oh, 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 oh. Cancel the healing meeting. Cancel the healing meeting. Someone died in one of our meetings. We know what that's like. A healing meeting that God said in Columbia, Mississippi, we were invited to go preach there three nights. They took care of the hotel and everything else. And, and God was doing all kinds of miracles. And God said, but advertise the last night as the healing meeting. In other words, God wanted to do unusual miracles. And God wants to do unusual things here. Today. And the, the worship. Oh. Don't let me. Don't let me forget about Columbia. Okay. Seemed like there was something that left. What am I supposed to go back to? Well, you know, it's the meaning. All right. And so the, the worship is, I didn't know it. My wife, my wife doesn't normally talk to me about, she, doesn't, she hadn't asked me a thing about, what are you going to preach? Or do you know what the Lord, she doesn't, she knows, she knows I'm going to be in my secret place and God will tell me. 
See? Well, she had a vision of a corpse before the last night of the meeting. I know what the Lord doesn't want me to leave. The that meeting that the supposed to be a prominent man. No, let me forget about him, babe. Okay. All right. So all of a sudden the, the worship is powerful. It was powerful, not as powerful as here. And, and suddenly there's a lull. It's like something's wrong. It, 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 I mean, when the anointing is thick and then suddenly it's, it's just suddenly gone. And the people are coming to the front because we were sitting in the front. She's dead. She's dead. So either we're going to have a funeral or we're going to have a resurrection. God already said Advertise the last night to be the healing meeting. And so they're all rushing to the back. and You, you, could, you couldn't even get by her. Nobody had even seen this 18-year-old young lady named Gabby. They didn't even know her. And her mom was there. Nobody, they didn't know who she was or how they found out about the meeting. All we know is she's dead. Color is already gone. There's no breath. And the Lord had given Cindy a vision before the meeting. She didn't tell me because she wasn't supposed to tell me. And, and so, and she was asking, Lord, where's the corpse? You showed me a corpse. Where's the corpse? Well, now we have a corpse. And so she went. The Lord said, go get in this girl's ear. I mean, there's nice chairs, you know, similar to these. Plus chairs in the, towards the back of the meeting room. And, and, and this 18-year-old young lady, she stretched out on the chairs. This did. And, and the Lord told Cindy, go get in her ear and call her spirit back. And she went and grabbed the lady and pulled out away, and she didn't know that that was the mom. Mm. That mom could have got angry, but she didn't. The Lord spoke to her immediately and said, "I've, I've got this. Go get in a position of praise." She called the spirit back, and suddenly life came in her, and her color returned. And there was an intercessor there, and the Lord told her to breathe. I think it was like three times. And then suddenly she sat up, looked at Cindy, and said, I want to come sit with you. And you talk about a healing meeting. Amen. Nobody got out of that Nobody tried to resuscitate. What are you telling me? I should, I'm not telling you anything to do. They that know their God mm. shall do exploits. Yeah. So how much of Him can you hold? Yeah. When an emergency happens, which the first thing that you move to do, that's what's most written on your tablet. All right, I think the Lord is fixing to close this, but he wants me to go back to this so-called, quote, prominent, wasn't prominent. God wanted us, we had to fight the weather with storm and rain. God wanted us to drive to get to this meeting to show us something. I mean, the see, if you're if you're in a place and there's there's people playing instruments and they're and they're they're singing and it and it it looks like they're singing good words and would you know if God is there or not? Wow. 
they that know their God shall do exploits. And so this guy gets up and he's giving out words, all, all this stuff, and we, we, we didn't feel nothing. And he, and, and he, he couldn't call us out. You know why? Now here's the other, Lord, you're so good. Look at this. Like the, now he says, uh, go back to First Corinthians. Okay. Verse 15, Amplified Classic. If you get you an Amplified and it's not just like this, it's because you got the you got the later version because they're needing to make more sales. The original version. How do I know? The copyright will be before 2015. Yes. But the spiritual man, the spiritual man. See, that's that's the one. That's the one that God's enlarging, and that's the one that's going into the subterranean waters. You see, in the subterranean, in the subterranean waters, there's a parallel between the waters on the earth and the Holy Spirit. He said, we've got several oceans on the earth, right? Well, down between two to four hundred miles straight down the earth's crust is the subterranean waters. And the water supply is so vast that you could take all of the oceans together and put them in there and the other is way bigger. The water down is much greater than the water up. So how deep do you want to go? God's asking now. How much can you hold? All right, verse 15. But the spiritual man tries all things. He examines, investigates, inquires into, questions and discerns all things. So Cindy and I, were, we, were, we, were, we were just there because we had people that we thought knew the Lord or the move of the Spirit that told us about this meeting. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to come to this meeting. You got to come to this meeting. You see, the spiritual man or, or woman tries all things. He examines, investigates, inquires into questions and discerns all things, yet is himself to be put on trial and judged by no one. See, he couldn't get a reading on us. Wow. Wow. Couldn't even prophesy to us. <laughs> wow. He can read the meaning of everything, but no one can properly discern or appraise or get an insight into him. So this guy makes a statement. And he says, I used to have, there's some people here, you need this. I used to have to pray and fast for the anointing. But I found out I don't have to do that anymore. Wow. Hmm. used to have a big capacity. Now it's an empty, hollow reservoir. Operating out of a gift that God gave without the God who gave it. For these are the days of deception. as never before. This is, these are the days
that surely the false prophet will begin to rise even though he will not yet be made known. But he will have many called prophets operating out of a gift but will spend eternity in the region of the damned in the lake that burneth with fire and brimstone for forsaking the God that he or she once knew. For consider Solomon how that he inquired of me and how I gave him wisdom such as never been known in that day. And how I told him what I would do. And how I would expand him. And enlarge his territory. And how he became. And how he is it not written in my word saith God. Did he. Did I not. Give him the ability to make silver as common as pavement. And all of the shields of gold and all of the thousands of horses and chariots so that there was none like him on the earth. But also consider my warning to him if he turned away from me, saith the Lord. And is it not written in my word, even in the first king, saith the Lord, how that he began to disobey me and how he got his mind on the money and how he got his mind on what I did instead of on the one who did it. Yes, yes. And how that he turned away from me, Yahweh Elohim, and began to have marry wives of all false nations that worshipped idols, yeah. 700 even, and 300 concubines. And is it not written in my word, even in the kings, is it not written, saith the Lord, how that they turned his heart away from me? And not only that, he began to build the high places not for me and not for my worship, but he began to build the high places for the false gods of that day. Yeah. And how that he left me and forsook evil. Yes, yes. Hmm. And how that I brought judgment on him and the nation and how that I brought judgment but I said for the sake of my servant David I will not do it in his day but how the judgment began to happen with Rehoboam and Jeroboam and how that I brought prophets and how that one told Jeroboam and cut the garment in 12 pieces and said 10 will be yours because I will take the 10 nations from Solomon's house. And how that Jeroboam left me and served false gods. And how that Rehoboam left me and served false gods. And how that I cut off their lineage from the earth. Return unto me saith the Lord. Amen. Return unto me, yes. says the Lord. Yes. Return unto me, says the Lord. Mm. Wow. Mm. We can
to move this out of the way. <coughs> Don't be one who operates out of the gift that God gave you without knowing the God who gave it. My Lord. Let's bow our heads. Well, every head's bowed right now, every eye closed. Nobody looking around. <clears throat> You say, Brother Daryl, I'm not ready to meet the Lord. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Remember me in this prayer. Remember me in this prayer. Just slip your hands up without you. Yes, hands going up. Go ahead, lift them up. Yeah, lift them. A number of hands. Number of hands back here. The eyes of the Lord roam to and fro throughout the earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is perfect before him. I wept, I cried almost the entire trip over here uncontrollably weeping because lives were in the balance that would be here weeping it's a form of travail it, 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 there's the loud which that moves on me too, but this was just uncontrollable weeping for, seemed like around two hours or so, just, I didn't think I had any more tears left. I knew it was for people that would be here. Thank you, Lord. Because there's people here, and the call of God's on your life. And, 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 uh, you, you're one of those some. And, and yet, you haven't done anything with it. Don't be like the one because God said in a previous word of the Lord this year that he would, the one that buried the talent, that he would take it away from that one this year and give it to the one that had 10. Time is short. After this judgment this year shall come the greatest awakening that this world has ever seen. God will humble the proud because they haven't humbled themselves. The Bible says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord that He may lift you up. So the, those, the first area, the, 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 these hands first. Just stand up where you are. There's a number of you. Just stand up right where you are. Everybody, eyes closed. Nobody looking around. Everybody just stand up. Come on. Come on. Just stand right up. Nobody has to come down here right now. I'm going to pray. Everybody repeating after me. I want you to say, Oh God. Oh God. I realize. I realize. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I, I'm not a part of the bride right now. Because the bride has made herself ready. 
I want to be at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Blessed is he who is invited. I want to get my invitation. Wash me with your blood. Cleanse me. Free me of habits. The Lord wants me to say it again. Free me of habits. I'm coming clean. Lord, your blood. Wash my tablet clean. Wash the filth that I've allowed to be written on my leg. Thank you. Amen. 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 Now give the Lord a shout of praise. Do we have some anointed? Uh, uh, All right. Now, there's a supernatural. I've never had anything like this happen in over 50 years of ministry. God has never told me a supernatural enlargement is going to happen for every person that wants it. And, and you're willing to serve God and never stop. Then come up here. Just start. Just come up here. Come on. It's probably going to have to be lion's form, uh, apostle. Uh, help get us an orderly. Right by. He's busy right now. As soon as they get the flow going. Yeah, I'm going to write them up. Sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, we could just we can just stand around like this and uh, make make the circle smaller. It's okay for me. Don't go bother me. Just. And then we'll have a next section, okay? I need just a single circle or an oblong, okay? And people where, where catchers can get behind you, okay? All right? And the rest of you, I'll get to everybody. Amen? The fire, it, it's not me, it's the fire of God that's going to do the enlargement. Yeah, brother, you. Yeah. yeah, see that that was me trying to do something. I was waiting on you. Go ahead. Yeah, go back around. Listen to the apostle. Yeah. 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 I need need space for catchers to get behind me. Uh, I'll, I'll just wait. KB, Sean, the other Sean. Yeah, I'll help you catch real quick. Hey, then you come help me out too, but the Noah team, you don't get catch. Just stand behind. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gotta have space. That's fine. Golly, I'll it, it, line in the aisle. Yeah, just line up. And we get to everybody. Believe me, I'm not. I'm not. We're not going to just go anywhere until everything God wants done. Go ahead and turn that worship on. Yes, and there's a healing anointing here. If you need a miracle in your body, you receive it too when hands are laid on you, and then you start doing something. Just like the apostle, he he was just catch, he was catching. He didn't. We didn't even know each other. And, uh, and he just started, his elbow moved, God moved it two inches back in, in, in place. And so there's creative miracles. If you need a new organ, I don't care what your diagnosis is. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I want you to say when hands are laid on me. Get your eyes off of me. Say, say, say God, enlarge me.
Lord, hell is your hand. Hallelujah. Enlarge us. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire. said the sons and daughters shall prophesy. The full fulfillment of that has not yet happened. But today is the day. <laughs> Say not I'm but a you. For your God. You can bring it up and use it back up. Fire of God. Go on, Harry. There's just the fire of God on you. Let him permeate you. He's going to start visiting you. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's going to start visiting you. Dreams and visions. Dreams and visions. God is changing you today. Okay, or is this more is this is this more the line? Okay, let's go. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire. Pain go. Healed. One minute, God. There we go. There we go. Who's next? There we go. I see you as a voice. A voice crying out in the wilderness. A voice crying out in the wilderness, brother of God. Where I'm putting a coal in your mouth. And I'm putting a fire in your bosom. And I'm enlarging you. And I'm filling you. And I'm sending you. I'm sending you. God has chosen them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The non assuming one of them God loves. Yeah. We just deposited your assignment. Yeah. God pointed you out to me a couple years or so ago. Oh, but get ready now. Oh, Someone's got to carry the fire when the apostles are in other places. Wow. Ah, you too. It's all about care. Roll. Brujo's your toy is larger. It's all about you. Yeah. 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 That's a. That's, that's it. It's all about you. It's all about you. Yay! Fire. Get Lord. Healing. Everybody that needs healing, you're going to find that. Check it out. Healing. Fire. Take it now. There's some, there's some things trying to hold on to you. Uh, 
cut it off now in the name of Jesus. Release it now. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yes. That's it. That's it. Break. That's Break. it. Break. That's it. Break. Yeah. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Everything about you. Nothing else you do. Your countenance. Your physique. Your color. Was for my purpose. Now today. I am enlarging you. My fire is burning in your bosom and filling you and you'll begin to hear a voice you'll hear a voice and it'll say here is the way this is how you'll know it'll say here is the way to walk in it that'll be the direction you understand that say say when i hear it here is the way to walk in it i'll start walking that direction amen now it starts okay, okay. You okay? Huh? Not really. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's okay. Not break the assignments from the enemy from Satan over and I command you to loose him now by the blood of Jesus and the authority of the great commission be free be free be free now Lord creative let these bones snap Lord the, the parts in the brain and the brain Lord the Give him new parts wherever the new parts are needed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Walk and be whole, spirit, soul, and body. Strength come in. Right mind. Yes. Amen. Okay, you next. It's been a burden. Yeah, God's gonna refresh you, and He's He's gonna make it up to you today. He, now. Fifteen. Yeah, sons of God. What's your name? Huh? 
love it. Yes. Your height and your statue are from me. But from today forward, you will be much taller. Much, much taller on the inside than the outside. For I am growing you up fast for the assignment and you will do my work and you will do it in the school and I will shake the student body. Fire of God. Impartation, enlarge him and fill him. Say, do it, God. Now. Say, now. Ah. <laughs> yeah, just let him. He's flowing right now. Let him go. Let him flow. Let him do his work. Just yield to him. That's what he requires, is just you. He just wants all of you. Who's next? Who el whoever wants prayer? Y'all do? Both of y'all. I see God rearranging things in your life right now. You know what they are. Lift up your hands. It's good to have be joined hands together. That's good. But right now, it's an individual thing first. Then you can join again. Fire of God on this man. Rearrange him. Set him on the path. Now, because the work is great and the laborers are few, take this daughter of Zion, rearrange everything. Now you can join. So even though they tried to keep him quiet, he said, Jesus, he cried, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And break that which has tried to choke the life out of you. By the blood of Jesus and the authority of the Great Commission, leave her now. Don't come back. Say, I'm yours. I'm withholding nothing. Do what you want. Fire of the Holy Ghost on this man. Break every body. Yeah. yeah. This one was going to stand before the Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God will give you a mouth. Oh, to speak. It won't be your words. It'll be His. You ready for that? Yeah. Now, consume this man. What's your name? Lawson. Yeah. Does he belong to you? Okay. Amen. You're pregnant again. Okay. Oh, Lord. Take care of this little one. For the one that you're carrying is also from me. Now the assignment of the enemy that's come in and all the wherewithals of that, I break it off of you right now. In Jesus' name. Be free. Do you have your prayer language? Speak it. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Whoa.
you got an assignment. Do you know what it is? Huh? You know, is this your is this your house of worship? Not right now. You know, there's a reason why the Lord had me ask you that. God's touched you today, hasn't he? This is where the assignment will take place. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Burn everything out of him that's not of you. Give him a new mind today. He will leave here a new man knowing where he belongs and where his assignment will come from. Wow. Bless you, brother. Are you with us? Hey, what the pastor? Just with him? Okay, George. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. The reason why the Lord asked me to ask this question. Oh, wow. Is this where you go? This is where you belong. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Your assignment also will come from being here. There are few apostles on the earth that I have called. And these two here are part of that few. Whoa, I'm tired. Burn it all out. Burn it all out. Burn it all out. Free by the blood of Jesus, the authority of the great commission in the name of Jesus. The Lord and Crucial. God says crucial. That's the word he says. Bro. 
That's a lying spirit that's been telling you all that. Now, break that also. Now, Lord, clean your mind. Clean your mind up right now. Blood of Jesus, wipe that tablet clean. Get all that stuff off of there. Yeah. Free of everything that's been attacked. That's the word. God's cutting off the attack. Now, Jesus. Start to roar. 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 The fire of God. Enlarge you. Fill it. There it is. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. What are you? 18. Yeah. What's your name? Frank. It's your time, Frank. Fire of God on Frank. Ah, yeah. How about you? What's your, what's your name? Come on. God is saying everything about you. you even your physique, every, everything. It's for your assignment. But now today, I see a watch for you. When God made the watch. Fire. Fire on you now. Also, the starting today, the fulfillment of a child shall leave them. 
you're going to start seeing children in this assembly. They're, they're going to think they're going to come out of their mouth and it's going to get the sound. I don't know. God said that. Look at this one. You're not too young, no. Enlarger. Enlarger. Now. Equip her. Fill her. Fill her. Is this where you attend? Yes. Okay. Okay. Anybody else need prayer? No. Oh. Hey. Hey. He just said, hey. What's your name? Cain. Cain. With a K. Okay, all right. All right. I got it. Yes. All right. Fire of God. Enlarge her. Enlarge her. Fill her fresh with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Lord, use, use King with a K. In Jesus' name. It's time. Uh oh. Hey, see, you bumbled yourself. You humble yourself. God sees it. He sees your secret place. Now he's fixing to reward you openly. What now? Oh, okay, okay. I, I understand. I understand the royalty stuff. I've had, I've had different things in my body. That's, that's no fun. You believe God's going to heal the neurology? Sure. Lift up your hands. And I believe God's going to also use you with a healing ministry. You say, how does that work? It, it'll just, it'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. First, I thank you for your gifts of healing. What's your first name? Leroy. Okay, Leroy, come on. Leroy. Turn it down for me real quick. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for a supernatural. Give him a new set of nerves. Take the nerves out of him now that's causing the neuralgia. And I'm asking you to give him a brand new set of nerves from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. That's the power of God that's on him doing this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not me. New, 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 new. Just yield to that anointing right now. Gifts of healings, working in miracles, new parts. There's a part of heaven that has new spare parts. Turn it back up. That's a you. part of heaven. Turn it up. Turn waiting. It up. Those parts are waiting to be accessed to come down here. Just new a little parts. bit. Turn it down just a bit. Look, as as Apostle McManus is continuing to to minister, 
If God is putting it on your heart to come and sow into his ministry, I got a basket right here. So y'all, before you leave, I want y'all to come and sow into his life right here. If you uh, have any checks, make it out to uh, Daryl McManus uh -huh. Ministry. Daryl McManus Ministries. And y'all just come and okay. put it put it right here in What's this basket. And he's still over here. He's still over here ministering. Chill, man. And uh, ask Miss Cindy for the cash out. What's the cash out? Final Awakening. Final Awakening. It's all lower caps. Final, final Awakening. All one word. All one word. All together. Final Awakening. If you want to cash up. Other than that, we got the basket down here. If y'all want to come and sow into them. Now, this is this is the part of the meeting where God's giving new body parts. Mm -hmm. Now, if you didn't get prayer for the other parts yet, I'll still pray for you. But um, the anointing right now is for this young man needs new eyes so he doesn't have to have surgery. Wow. What's your name? Giovanni? Yeah. Turn it up. Turn it up. Jesus' name. Lord, we ask for new eyes. Give him two new eyes. Giovanni. The whole thing, the optic nerves, and just the sinister, everything new. Everything new. People and everything. Wow. Uh, You're the dealer, thank you. And you steal money. Sons and daughters. What's your name? Amen. I don't know how to get back there and I don't know how to get back there. Thank you. God's hands on your hands. Oh, you can't afford it. Yeah. I've seen it in your eyes. Yeah. You know who he is. Lord, I thank you for you today, and he will speak. Let's say it, Lord. Amen. Did you come already? Yeah. Okay. Did everybody? Yeah. No, well, I guess the key is that they just brought him up here. Prophet anointing. Wow. Even you will begin to see things. You'll see into the spirit world. You'll see. You'll see angels. You'll also know when you'll see demons when they're present. You will begin to speak. Thus saith the Lord with an authority. A commanding authority. I will give you. Even today, say the Lord, I'm enlarging you. And I am filling you. You are my father. And you will surely speak only the words that I tell you. And no others. 
Five. Fire on me. Consume Caleb. Thank you. Okay. show you things about them and they will break before my presence. And I will even cause some of the stingiest to be the most liberal for the end time harvest. And I will laugh. Yahweh Elohim, I will laugh as the stinginess melts away. For I use who I please, and I do what I please. Yeah, come on. For I am God, and there is no other. Yes. Says the Lord. Wow. Yes. My goodness. Yes. Uh, it's all about the assignment, dear. The fire of my presence will make the roads and will make the paths. And you will not lack for the money, for the money shall increase. For you'll say, yes, but I need this and I need this. I know what you need. And I know how to get it to you. Fire. For I will not pour my wine into an old wine skin, but you are one that you allow me to massage to anoint. And therefore, the old things that were crusty and, 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 and splitting those things 
are being massaged and they're being made new. Mm. And therefore, this day, <laughs> I announce that I will pour myself into you. The new wine, the new oil. For you have trimmed your lamp. Did I not yep, say yep. that you are the light of the world? And the thing which I talked about ten virgins trimming their lamps, now I apply. For those lamps are you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And those that are wise are trimming, making themselves ready for the new wine and the new oil this day I pour into you, my son. And you are a vessel of honor. Hallelujah. 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 Enlargement. God. Enlargement and filling. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Okay. Whatever the Holy Spirit gives you. You just tell me. Tell me. With it. Yeah, everybody comes, that came up, we call you healed. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Laura, carry it. You just thought you were spiritually pregnant to the dead. For an evangelist like Philip, where cities come to me. Day and night, day and night, you will burn, you will burn, you will burn, you will burn. I will show you, I will show you, I will show you. City after city, saith the Lord, I'm giving you. Don't leave your secret place. Are you here for enlargement, healing? All of it? All of it. I like that. Steadfast. Immovable. Oh, yeah. Same exact word. Yeah, but now, now I'm adding. I'm, a I'm adding to. I'm adding to those that didn't bury the town. I'm adding. Fire! Enlargement. Fill it. And heal it. What is healing to be there? given you to carry I'm feeling I'm feeling the weight of it the glory signs wonders and miracles you will not have to look to the one I have joined you to for that for I am enlarging you and filling you and I am placing the power gifts in you gift of faith regular occurrence Working in miracles, regular occurrence. Yeah. Gifts of healings, regular occurrence. <laughs> yeah. In your hands and out of your hands. And even through your voice when the crowds are too big, shall they manifest 
to bring me glory. For you won't touch it. You are humble and you'll never touch the glory. And I know it. So today, I'm depositing something new in you. Put your hand there, babe, and I'll put my Drop the fullness of it in this apostle. You could see, man of God, what is taking place in the heavenlies right now, preparing the way for everything I've shown, for everything I said I will do, and the secret petitions that no other human knows. I am preparing the way. To be a five-star general, there must be other generals that I have chosen. And I am working on that even now, saith the Lord. And quickly, I will launch you. Even as I spoke earlier about the fire, who the fire would be taken care of in this house. will not miss a beat for I need you I need you this year saith the Lord and now I'm enlarging you greater than you ever thought you could be enlarged and I am filling you and I'm putting in you the fullness you will know about the deposit that comes now in your bosom it's from my hand, it's not from any man. And you will walk as my apostle in the earth. In the earth. In the earth. And you will strictly do my bidding. And I will take care of the rest, says Paul. Yeah. Uh, the Renee and all. Okay. Even as every new move has a new sound, I have released a new sound through you. And it will be earmarked by this last move. For there is no sound like it. There is nothing to compare it to because there is no one on the earth who has it. It is from my hand and it has come from my throne. And now the fullness of the prophet. Along with the healing anointing. shall operate in full measure. And even as I have given the name of the group and the ministry, now I am blowing on it with my favor. <laughs> and I am opening the doors. I am creating doors. Even today, you will start noticing because they, they didn't exist. Now they are. Now they are. Now they are. Amen. Amen. And prophet, 
And it's time for you to speak along with the, the prophetic music. Along with Joshua. But the message will get stronger that you will preach. You will speak as the oracles of God. It will be by voice speaking through you, saith God. And so get ready because even the two of you have the music that I'm giving from my throne. And you will continue to work and to do and watch how I will provide for the both of you, says the Lord. Well, yes, you are. Okay, I didn't do this. Enlargement and fill. Enlargement and fill. Touch this man, enlarge him, fill him with your fire. That's the fire of God, sir. Serve him and he'll use you. Just tell me if I miss, I don't want to miss the fire. Y'all do the children. Oh my goodness. Now, this is for the two of you first. Now, now watch, saith the Lord, my hand and my prophetic anointing on these children. For you'll suddenly see it on this one. And he'll speak. You'll see it on that one. And she will speak. And you'll see it on another. Allow me to speak through them, says the Lord, because this is the day and this is the hour of the fulfillment of my sons and daughters shall prophesy. Now God's going to give each of you new equipment. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Enlarge her filler. There it is. Filler. Enlarge her. You know, go, go ahead. Okay. My curse, Lupus. Your autoimmune disorder, you leave for the body now. Your immune system will not fight against itself. New immune system. Completely new. Be healed. Be healed of all that plagues you. Enlarger filler. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I can stand up. everybody to stretch their hands towards the pots of McManus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare replenishing over him right now from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. I thank you, Father, for strength, for vigor, and that the same life-giving spirit that raised Christ from the dead, Father, will quicken his mortal body. We thank you, Father, for him pouring out, God, for the release that has taken place, for the hunger that's in this place. And we thank you, Father, for his capacity being to overflow. We honor you, Lord, for opening doors for him that no man can close and closing doors for him that no man can open. And we bless you, Father, that he shall see the travail of his soul and be satisfied. Nations are calling. Doors that have not been opened. Hey, we thank you, Father, for opening them now. We thank you that he's been steadfast. Hey, we thank you that he's been immovable. We thank you that he's always been abounding in you, Father, and that his labor in you is not in vain, God. We thank you, Father, for the net-breaking catch 
that you have prepared for him. <laughs> ah, we thank you for the harvest that's connected to him. And when you say well done, he will have millions of people standing in line behind him. <laughs> we thank you for the work of the general. We thank you for the work of the apostle. We thank you, Father, for even opening the doors, Father, for more uh, television stations. Uh, wow. Radio shows. And you are there to fund the gospel. And Father, we're in full agreement that you open up the door, Father, for him to have a seasonal ministry. Seasonal, Father. During the, during the fair weather times, he'll be outside on the beach. And when the times are not so favorable, you'll have a, a building for him in Jesus' name. And we don't think it's going to be uh, several checks. We're going to say one check is going to fund everything for him. In the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. 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 We love y'all. Y'all stayed a while. <laughs> y'all are dismissed. Y'all are dismissed.